Administration and Parks Commission, would everyone please stand and uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Monse, roll call, please. Commissioner Kelly Watson. Present. Commissioner Julie Stolner. Present. Commissioner Dave Wu. Um, for the record, he is absent. Vice Chairperson Lee Davis. Present. And Chairperson Bob Moda. I am here, thank you. Uh, tonight presentation, introduction of the new community service director. Yes, good evening, Commission. Um, to my left, I would like to introduce do see you to our new director, Allie Mancini. So I'll just quickly turn it over to her. Um, she's been with us about three weeks now and let her introduce herself. Yes, good evening, honorable chair and vice chair and members of the commission. It's my pleasure to be here this evening. And um, as Ryan mentioned, I think I'm on my third week here with the city. It's been uh, wonderful. Uh, everybody has been so welcoming and, and kind and um, it's been very busy, but in a really good way. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed by all of the things that the department is doing and by the leadership that's already in place. Um, so I hope to just be an addition to that. Um, and I've met uh, some of you already one-on-one -on -one, and I think I've got one-on-one -on -one schedule, scheduled with the rest of you so we can talk uh, more individually, but I look forward to working with you. So thank you. Thank you very much and welcome. Uh, public communications. Seeing none, We'll close public communications, but I'm going to ask Monse, were there any uh, by email? No, none. Thank you. We'll close public communications. Move to the consent calendar. Uh, approval of the minutes of the Recreation and Parks Commission meeting of June 15, 2022. Anyone? I move we approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. That is 4-0. Thank you. There is no unfinished business. New business. Discussion and possible action regarding cancellation of the regular meeting of the Recreation and Parks Commission on August 17, 2022 and December 21, 2022. Yes. Allie, go ahead. Yes, Honorable Chair, Vice Chair, and members of the Commission, um, apparently there has been some discussion or a request to cancel the regular meeting of the commission on August 17th, 2022. Uh, I believe that's because we will have a special meeting uh, that month on August 31st, a joint meeting of the Parks and Recreation Commission and the City Council regarding the Recreation Park Needs Assessment. Um, so I understand that's why um, the request has been made to cancel the regular meeting so that we can have that meeting in place of that, and then on the 21st of December, I'm assuming that's because of the busy holiday season. And that concludes my report. Anyone on that? Well, I'll move that we approve that. Can I have a second, please? All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's 4-0. Thank you. Thank you. And that was August 31st. Okay. Uh, reports of subcommittees. Uh, aquatic subcommittee. We didn't officially meet, but uh, information that may be pertinent to the commission is that the parts for the uh, aquatic center have come in, and I believe Elias stated that uh, we should be up and running on the heaters in the next at, by the end of the week, if not the beginning of next week which is good news, it's well ahead of schedule, should anybody get any questions on that. And that's about all I have. Okay, thank you. Transportation subcommittee? We did not meet. Thank you. Youth Sports Council? We did not meet. Staff reports? is not here tonight. Uh, Yes, um, Erisia is out tonight, but you do have her report in front of you. And uh, just a few highlights from the month. Um, obviously, we had our big 4th of July celebration in the park, which was very well attended. Um, brought back the daytime event that had taken the last two years off, so very happy to put that on. 
Um, and then we've had quite a few successful concerts in the park. Um, our last one being Selena, which had about 2,500 people at it. And then this Sunday will be Rod Stewart. So hope to see everyone there at four o'clock. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just a quick comment on the concerts in the park. Uh, I've heard numerous people say how they've liked the concerts this year and the choices for the cover bands has been really much better. Cool. Or, or they've liked it much more. How's that? No, so we congrats appreciate and, it. And, and well done. No, thank you. Go ahead. Who's anybody? Yeah, I wanted to ask about the farmer's market. I know that we had a new person put in place a few months ago, and I just i am still noticing we don't have a lot of vendors and we've lost some of our key ones and just wondering what the plan is uh, for recruiting new vendors. Have there been any actions taken to try to recruit new vendors and what plans are there for the future to do so? I definitely have to follow up with Keith. Um, I haven't spoke with him on that information, um, but recently between myself and Sam Lee with the library, we've been gathering a lot of different vendors and building like a shared team list and hoping to get that with Keith into the mix. So there'll be kind of a good um, trio right there of different vendors and different stock, but it has definitely been a little harder. Um, I know some of the produce vendors have been a little tricky to get back. That was something that I had as well that I wanted to discuss because there were some posts on Facebook recently on that that people were noticing that our vendors had really dropped and also looking at the surrounding communities that their farmers markets were much larger than ours and they were wondering are we charging too much for our vendors, um, why are our vendors not coming back um, and that you know, our, our, um, our, our produce was, was a lot less than what, say, our, our vendors of merchandise were. And, um, but, you know, the, the surrounding, I mean, yes, Torrance is, is huge, but the surrounding cities had much larger um, farmer's markets, and why were we struggling to keep our vendors coming back? And um, so I wanted to ask uh, those questions as well. You know, what was, what does the problem seem to be? Um, and, you know, it's always been Thursdays. Is, is Thursday the problem? Um, is it, you know, is it the time? Is it, you know, it, it could be various reasons. Um, so if we could you know, look into that and, and see what it is because we've had our farmer's market for a long time and we don't want to see it go by the wayside. Um, but I think we need to figure out what the issue is because I, I think the issue has been there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I had, I, I wanted to ask if it was looked into um, the pickleball fix when we had the uh, man come and speak about... Um, the pickleball issue of the residents having that group that was coming and then uh, we had classes that were scheduled and uh, I was wondering if anything took place with that and how that was rectified or if it has been rectified. Do you know? I do not know if Aracia um, followed up with Sean in that, but what we can do is this tomorrow I'll follow up with Sean and then we can get Allie to send you an email with the update for that information. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next staff report, Christopher Henson, Parks Maintenance Superintendent. Oh, good evening. Um, although my report is short, we've been very busy this month, uh, primarily with special events, so July 4th and, and the concerts in the parks. Um, July, we officially moved back home with recreation folks. So we're now rec and parks and library. So uh, we're glad to be in that position again. And uh, we're just uh, getting ready for uh, some field renovations and uh, uh, going into the next uh, fall sports and so forth. So I'll, I'll take any questions. Just real quick, uh, the Richmond Field, I went by today and noticed there was some plumbing being done as there was uh, 
some water that had uh, dripped out into the field. Is there any issue with it? Yeah, there was a uh, uh, broken quick coupler. Um, not sure how it got broken, but uh, sure. they're doing the repairs today. Simple fix? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And Christopher, I wanted to thank you for taking care of those trees so quickly along Washington, those uh, six or seven dead trees sure. um, that I had told you about that uh, needed to be taken care of, and they were taken care of very quickly. And so hopefully trees are going to be replaced uh, along there, but it's nice to see that they were taken out because they were dead for quite a while. Right. And so it's nice that uh, it was taken care of quickly. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Christopher. Director reports, Ali Mancini, Community Service Director. Yes, uh, Honorable Chair, Vice Chair, and members of the Commission, I do not have a report this evening um, simply because of my time frame and being so new, but um, don't get used to that. I'm sure I'll have plenty to speak to you about next month. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner comments, Commissioner Watson. Ju Kelly. I have no comments. Thank you. Commissioner Stolnack, Julie. I have several. <laughs> um, I wanted to um, bring up a few things um, that I wanted to, um, I guess, be looked into. Uh, in my walking around town, <clears throat> I wanted to see who is responsible. I don't know if it's the city or if it's the scouts but the doors that are on the scout house are in horrible condition. Um, so I don't know if it's the city's responsibility to replace those doors or if it's the scout's responsibility, but the doors that are facing Grand Avenue um, are in horrible condition, and I think that they need to be uh, looked at, um, whether it's us or the scouts. I'm not sure. Um, also, I have been noticing in the mornings, and I know this would be an unpopular thing, but I think the city needs to address it or look into it. Uh, since the pandemic has happened, and I understand why it is taking place, but I think the city needs to look into it for liability reasons, <clears throat> that there are numerous personal trainers that are now holding personal training sessions in several of our city parks. And not looking at it as a revenue generating thing for the city, but I'm looking at it more as a liability issue for the city, that I think that the personal trainers at least need to have some sort of um, liability clause with the people that they're training so that the city is released from liability if somebody is hurt in our parks during this training. And, um, and I think that if these personal trainers um, are not El Segundo residents, I think that's an issue as well, using our city parks to hold their business um, and not paying something. I, I think it should be a, a separate issue if you were an El Segundo resident versus not an El Segundo resident. But I think the city ought to look at it for liability reasons, number one. Um, and then um, Fourth of July another big event back on uh, after it had been on off for a couple of years. It was uh, another successful event that the city put on. It was great to see that it was back and um, I think it was well attended. It was um, once again well organized. Uh, I was down there with Rotary Club. We were doing our watermelon eating contest. Um, didn't catch any kids throwing up like they have done in the past. <laughs> you know, I think it helps 
to have the pie eating afterwards. <laughs> I think when you do the pie eating before and then the watermelon, it that's, gets a little sketchy. It's better to do the watermelon first and then the pie. <laughs> but it was another great event to see all the families out and everybody participating. So um, it, it went really well. And so I, I was glad to see that uh, again. Um, and then um, I wanted to congratulate Ryan Delgado for getting his uh, community service award from the um, uh, Rotary Club and um, for the hard work that Ryan does for the city and in his position. And I was really surprised uh, to hear uh, his bio and to hear that Ryan Delgado was a punker. And to hear that he was in growing up in punk rock scene and all of that, I was really surprised to hear that. But it was it was nice to hear about Ryan's background and all that he has done and the job that he does for the city and his dedication. And so I just want to thank you for the job that you do, Ryan. No, thank you, um, and thank you for that tonight. And um, also thank you to the Rotary Club for the award. It was a very nice spot. I'm love the driving museum. You know, I bring my car down there, so it was great to have it there as well. And then I want to welcome Allie. I met with her this week, and it was it was nice to have some time to spend with you and get to know you, and uh, thank you for spending the time and, um, you know, talking with me as a commissioner and, and seeing what it is that, that we would like to, to see uh, as part of your um, duties here and, and what it is that we could do is working together to uh, make our parks and rec and library a better place. So thank you very much and welcome. Thank you. Chair, if I may, uh, I'm not sure how you guys handle commissioner comments typically, but if it's, if it uh, pleases you, I'd like to respond to um, commissioner Stolnack's comments. That would be okay. Um, Please. So you, you brought up a couple of items um, that we will have to get back to you on the doors on the scout house. That could probably be, uh, a simple email, I can follow up on that. Um, appreciate the words of, of thanks for the 4th of July event and of course congratulating Ryan. Um, but then the item of personal trainers, uh, I might recommend that you let staff do some research and perhaps bring back a recommendation or a report on that item. So if it pleases the commission, that would be my recommendation. All right. Please bring, please bring that back. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Loops is not here tonight. Uh, Vice Chairperson Davis, Lee. <laughs> yes, I just want to welcome you and thank you very much for uh, coming in. I think uh, I did meet with, with you as well and I look forward to working with you. It sounds like we have um, kind of regained some footsteps within the commission and I look forward to seeing you know, some, some progress and some more um, interaction with us and the city. So thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Okay. Um, I do want to welcome you, uh, like everyone else. Uh, little, little backstory here. When I started on the commission in 2004, Allie's mom, Stacia, was sitting in that chair. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been here maybe too long some will say <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i'm enjoying every minute of it and um i'm looking forward to working with you so thank you, thank you. and with that we'll adjourn to the next regular meeting on wednesday i'm sorry nope. that's it'll be wednesday <laughs> uh september 21st 2022 um thank you very much